What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Big D. I really need to address this shit. I need to get this off my chest. This has to be said. Because people are making a bigger deal out of this than it really needs to be. Now, according to a CSN Philly article, they're saying, with the uncertainty at the running back position, could Wendell Smallwood be the Eagles' lead back? Now, my answer to that is no. People are, again, people are making a bigger deal out of this by reading this article. It's like, chill the fuck out. Calm down. Relax. They're saying he could potentially be. They're just, they're just theorizing. They're just, they're saying what if he could be. The way I see it, there's no way in hell he's going to be the starting running back. They're going to keep Ryan Matthews one last year before they do that. The way I see it, our starting running back is going to be Corey Clement, our undrafted free agent out of Wisconsin. Now, when you people think of Wendell Smallwood, they normally think of that game versus the Cowboys. Mischief night, the night before Halloween, we were up 23-13, to and we got the ball back. Not only did Wendell Smallwood single-handedly fuck us out of that football game, which is arguable, which is debatable, because someone can easily make the argument that Doug Pearson just randomly threw his ass in there, and or the line didn't work properly, Jason Kelsey fought, fell on his fucking face, letting the guy just come in and fuck his shit up. You could easily make that argument. But I felt like that was the beginning of the end for us in that game. Dallas's 16 unanswered points started from there. And also, he was injured for multiple weeks in the latter part of the season. So, you can also say that he's injury prone. Listen, I wanted Joe Mixon too. I wanted us to grab him in the second round. He was right there. We took Sidney Jones, who I was happy we got. You guys need to fucking let that shit go. Get over it. It's done. We can't do shit about it now. We gotta look toward the future. Now, what the future is, the running backs right now, who we have thus far, Ryan Matthews, who will probably be cut after he passes his physical, which is we have to wait until then to do so, Wendell Smallwood, Darren Sproles, Donnell Pumphrey, who's gonna be the successor to Darren Sproles, Byron Marshall, no, we converted him to receiver, Corey Clement, Cedric O'Neal, no, wait, we cut him. So, it'll be come down to Wendell Smallwood, Sproles, Pumphrey, and Clement. The way I see it, I think all those running backs are going to duke it out in the preseason, and whoever comes out the best, whoever truly stands out, will be the starter. That's just what I think is going to happen. Anyway, let me know what you think about this. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. You guys need to relax.